It looks good. I like to hear that. It's just a few minutes after you have presently wind sixteen hundred UTC. Which is 20 hundred local time for the airplane in Amman. That's Gulf Standard Time. So, again, just a few minutes after our estimated arrival time. And are you in contact with the safe planning team? Yes, we're on the contact. Turn to final 500 feet. Looking good. This is Solar Impulse TV live. You heard just there, only 500 feet until landing. Solar Impulse 2, well, piloted by Andre Borschberg. Well, the question is where do they have these green lights? Copy. You're watching live pictures of what will be the first landing of the Solar Impulse round the world flight attempt. At Muscat International Airport. Looking good, you have now headwind, seven knots. Uh, that's that's nice. Uh, get the and confirm when you have docked the engines. Headwind nine knots and speed is looking good, altitude also. This is Solar Impulse TV live, and in a few seconds' time, Henri Borschberg is going to touch down on the runway at Muscat International Airport for a short layover in Amman, taking off again extremely early tomorrow morning with Bertrand Picard in the hot seat for the second leg. Henri Borschberg making this look easy, but I can tell you it's an extremely difficult plane to pilot. Extremely susceptible to turbulence. And one of the reasons that we're just over one hour behind our scheduled arrival time is because we're waiting for the wind to die down. And here we go. Very, very nearly there now. Dock open engines. 
short while you, you're going to see our catching crew cycling and then running, literally running after the aeroplane. That's why they're called the catching crew. And there we are. Confirmation, we're down. Solar Impulse has touched the ground and landed in Amman. First leg is now complete. And congratulations from all of us in Monaco Mission Control, including Prince Albert of Monaco, who's here to see Andre safely down the ground. And we're just going to wait until the plane comes to a complete stop. two cycling members of the catching crew still level with the plane as it reaches its final position on the tarmac. And there it is. Congratulations again to Andre Borschberg. One leg is down, 11 to go. I don't think they're all going to be as straightforward as that one. And you won't have much long to wait until the next one. Join us again on solarimpulse.com.